Morning guys, we're on Colossians chapter 1, reading from verse 24. Now I rejoice in my sufferings for your sake, and in my flesh I do not I do my share on behalf of his body, which is the church. I am filling up what is lacking in Christ's afflictions. And so now we this morning we're just looking at the sufferings of Jesus and the sufferings that we are called to go through. And like James says, um, he counts it joy to go through various trials. And so we are also called to, to face trials with joy. And that's uh, quite a contradictory statement in one sense, because how can you be joyful in a trial? How can you be joyful in suffering? And so when you realize that suffering is for our good, it's for the good of the church and it glorifies God. And when you realize that Jesus came down and he suffered, and he received persecution and all the way to the cross where he suffered and died for our sins and that we are part of him he is head of the church and we are part of the body and he calls us to suffer and there's great rewards for suffering um, not only do we develop character and perseverance um, but uh, christ is glorified through that and so he says that we need to rejoice when you understand what suffering produces and the result is so much um, greater than the small part of suffering that we have to go through then it becomes easier to go through that suffering it's a bit like if you exercising for a race you go through a fair amount of pain to get to a position where your body's fit and in the same thing spiritually we need to go through suffering. So we must never look at suffering in a bad way and try to get out of it. We must always look at it in a sense that there's a portion of suffering that God's allocated for us as a believer. And we need to bear that joyfully, knowing that it's for our good and for the good of the body and ultimately for the glory of God. And so he says he suffers for his sake. It's for the sake of the body of Christ. And in my flesh, I do my share. And so the flesh dies. And he's doing his share as part of the body, um, which is the church, as he says, and filling up what is lacking in Christ's afflictions. And so um, we need to know that when we receive any kind of suffering, it's um, sometimes as a result of sin. But if it's not as a, of a result of sin, we need to joyfully receive that as, and, and know that if we are suffering for Christ's sake, we're going to receive great rewards one day so just a couple of cross reference re regarding suffering uh, philippians 1 verse 13 so that it may become known throughout the whole imperial god and to all the rest of my imprisonment is for christ so paul saying while i'm in prison this is for jesus and most of the brothers having become confident in the lord by my imprisonment are much more bold to speak the word without fear and so here we have just an example of how when we see the sufferings of others, it actually encourages us to persevere and go through those hardships. Uh, when we consider what Christ has been through, what the saints have been through, the martyrs of the past, it should strive and encourage us to say, you know what, we can do this. Yes, we're going through this world. We're not of this world. Um, people will hate us because they hated Christ. People will not receive the message because they hate the truth. And we're going to receive um, retaliation. This is part and parcel of the walk. And when we look at it and look at others who have, have been through it and, and been through it joyfully, it does give us a boldness to persevere. 2 Corinthians 4 verse 10. Always carrying in the body the death of Jesus so that the life of Jesus may also be manifested in our bodies. For we who, who live are always being given over to death for Jesus' sake so that the life of Jesus also may be manifest in our mortal flesh. So death is at work in us, but life in you. So part of suffering is actually dealing with the flesh, dealing with the death. And as we die to ourselves, as we die to sin, um, there's a life that gets manifest through us and through our bodies. And as we um, put the, the, the death aside, the sin aside, there's a life, there's a life of Christ that is exposed. And just another uh, illustration of, and there's so many, we could be spending hours here on this subject, but just one last 
1 and Corinthians 11 verse 30. For I must boast, I, I will boast of the things that show my weakness. And so Paul boasts in his weakness, in his flesh, in his sufferings, because he knows that when he is weak, Christ is strong. When the flesh is being dealt with. So when you're going through a pain, know that your flesh is being dealt with and the glory of Christ will be the result that shines through that. And so we therefore receive it joyfully. God bless.